Hello, Crazy Delaney here, and I want to tell you guys a bit of a story. When I was a teenager, I went to an evangelical Christian high school. I'm not kidding. I went to an evangelical Christian high school. Now, stop snickering. I really did. Stop snickering every time I say evangelical Christian high school. I'm serious. You in the back. Cut it out. All right? No, I went to an evangelical Christian high school, and one of the things that was taught in this high school was something called creation science. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of names like Kent Hovind, uh, Ken, Ken Ham, and other people who espouse the theory, well, it's not really a theory, uh, the idea that the creation story, as it appears in the book of Genesis, in the Bible, is accurate. It is a literal account of how life on earth came about. So we're talking creation in, in six days. This was taught in our science classes at this high school. And what's interesting about that is everything in my brain when I was hearing this, everything intellectual said to me, there is no way in hell that's true. That's not why the Genesis story was written. That's not what the authors of the Genesis story were trying to do with this story. They were not writing a science book, guys. The Earth's not 6,000 years old. That's, that's, that's crazy. Intellectually, that's what I thought. But I was in an, in an environment where everybody was saying, evolution is clearly a lie. It's a lie authored by the devil. And if you want to be close to God, if you want Jesus Christ to smile at you, God damn it, you better believe that the earth is 6,000 years old. You better believe that he created the earth in six days. Or you're going to lose your faith. You're going to become a, a godless heathen. You're, you're going to bring us all skipping towards Gomorrah. Like everybody else, if you don't believe this truth. Intellectually... Full of holes. Swiss cheese. You know, a midget with a machine gun shot up full of holes. Full of holes! You could drive a truck through it. Guess what, guys? Guess what? I believed it. I believed it for the duration of my time in that school. I believed it. And I thought God was happy with me because I believed it. And it took a few years out of there to, to, to get rid of that. And, and to realize that, no, that, there's no reason to believe that. It's, it's stupid. And, you know, it's still going around. I mean, there was a popular Christian YouTube user who remained nameless and who's now gone that was espousing that, that idea. But that really shows you how powerful a group dynamic can be and how powerful an environment can be. And I was thinking to myself today, I think that's a big part of why Scientologists always say to find out the truth about Scientology, you go to an org. You get your ass to an org. And I think there's a specific reason for that. It's so that the environment can work on you. And I don't know if that's the best way to put it. It's, it's so the, the environment can work on you. The group dynamic can, can work on you. I'm quite serious when I tell people to read Dianetics or Science of Survival or, or Introduction to Scientology Ethics. Because if you read those in the comfort of your own home, sipping a beverage of your choice, maybe even with your favorite... TV program, go up in the background, maybe. That's not the best way to read, by the way. Don't do that. Only do that if you're reading something you hate, so <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I would, I would read Dianetics with TV on. But anyway, 
If you read it in the comfort of your own home, you're going to think to yourself, wow, this is pure science fiction. There, this doesn't make sense. I mean, the leaps of logic here, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. That's what you're going to think on your own. I mean, that's what I thought on my own of this whole creationism idea. I thought to myself, nah, bullshit. That's what I thought on my own. But, uh, get a room full of people all saying amen. They got gotcha. you. They got gotcha. you. Even the most strong-minded person, even the most independent-minded person can be gotten that way. So, you replace those amens with you know, wow, this stuff works. It's, it's, it's amazing, you know. It, it's, it's, you know, it's like I discovered a treasure. You, 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 you know, you get that, room full of that, you're in an environment where the tech works. Chances are, this, you know, might get switched off a little bit. Maybe. But if, if this is just complete nonsense to all of you, well, the story I told at the beginning is, is kind of valid. It really shows the power of the, of the uh, group dynamic to work on a person and to subvert their intellect, essentially. Here's the thing. I've learned from that. I've learned from that. And I pray to God it doesn't happen again. All right, peace, victory, and as always, drive safe. Crazy Delaney out.